Natalie and I'm the librarian at our Souk branch of Vancouver Island Regional Library and today for our Rural Recommends I wanted to talk about my favorite LGBTQ plus books. Um, I have lots of favorites but I tried to narrow it down to um, some recent titles for you guys and um, it, this month is also Pride Month and um, I just wanted to say as well that most of the books I'm going to be talking about today are male to male relationships but of course we have more um, LGBTQ plus uh, titles in our collection. So if you're looking for something in specific and um, maybe you're not finding it in this video, please feel free to reach out to a librarian or your branch staff and ask for more recommendations. We have uh, book lists on our website as well. So if you're trying to find um, books with characters that you might identify with or that you're uh, hoping to learn more about, feel, please feel free to reach out and we can definitely help you find something. All right, so um, my first book of the day is um, <laughs> What If It's Us, and this is by Becky Albertelli and uh, Adam Silvera. Becky Albertelli wrote Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, and Adam Silvera wrote um, They Both Die at the End. Those two are really great books. And um, so this one is so cute. Uh, you'll notice a trend with all the books that I read. I just really like cutesy um, sort of characters. And um, especially in young adult romance, I just I just find it like very comforting to read about cutesy romance stories. Um, so this one follows Arthur and Ben. And Ben is on his way to the post office to drop off a box of his ex-boyfriend's uh, old stuff. And Arthur is just um, starting out in New York City. He's there for the summer exploring the town and um, working as well. So it follows their relationship or their uh, their meetup and um, it goes through first chances, second chances, third chances, that sort of thing. So this is just a really cutesy story. And um, yeah, I, I am excited to hear more about um, this couple. Uh, I think there's a new book going to be released pretty soon that follows their journey. So um, my next book, again, it follows the like cutesy sort of characters. Um, and by cutesy, I mean like just like uh, really enjoyable to read. Um, you're really rooting for the characters. That's at least like how I feel about it. So um, <laughs> The Extraordinaries. I loved it. It felt very nerdy, but in the best way possible. And it is a cross between Rainbow Rowell's Fangirl and honestly, What If It's Us that I just talked about. And this one um, follows Nick as he's writing fan fiction about these superheroes that are in their real world. So if you're also looking for um, like fantasy elements, this book is really great for that. Um, so yeah, so Nick is uh, writing fan fiction about real superheroes that exist but he also has a crush on one of the superheroes and it follows the story of his friend group as well as they're navigating this world with the superheroes and villains and that sort of thing. And the next book, this was honestly one of my favorite books. I think it's in my like top five books of all times, um, but definitely of the past year, it was like one of my favorite books. And um, Flash Fire is the next book in this series and it's getting released this year and I'm so excited. Um, so the next book I have is Cemetery Boys and this one follows the Adrill and um, he is a trans boy and he is trying to navigate family and death and life and friendship and relationships um, while he accidentally summons uh, an angry spirit, a, a person from his high school. And it follows that journey of him trying to um, just like prove to his family and his community that he is a brujo. Um, and um, that would mean that they're acknowledging that he is a trans boy. And yeah, this one I find is also really great for um, like a fall read. It has um, some like gothic elements to it because it's uh, dealing with death as well. And yeah, this one was just really great. Um, it also deals, uh, or it's uh, a male to male relationship, but um, it features a trans character and um, uh, BIPOC characters as well. So the next book is Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me and this is written by uh, Mariko Tamaki and she is a uh, Canadian author and this one is 
oh man, if you ever had a difficult relationship and you're just trying to navigate it or you're reflecting back on um, maybe a previous relationship or um, just like other books you really love or movies and taking those sort of elements, this one is so bittersweet because you just feel for the main character so much as they're constantly being break broken up with and um yeah it just also follows um like self-identity and looking at self-worth as well and um yeah it was just really really great and i love seeing uh canadian authors so my last one is actually new to me i haven't actually read this but it is on my to to be read list my ever going to be read list and it's death prefers blondes this was recommended by a colleague of mine and this one follows um the main character is a teenage celebrity and uh that's their life during the day and then at night time they run a cat burglary group and um all their partners are kickboxing drag queens as well which is just super fun so um the story follows the main character and the uh, group of drag queens as uh, a theft goes wrong and they're trying to survive the night so it follows each of their different stories so yeah i'm really excited for this one it seems super super fun and i'll have to keep you posted on how that goes and um this last one is just an honorary mention uh, again this one is a uh, male-to-male -male relationship with um it also features a trans character and uh i forgot to mention as well Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me is um a female female relationship so this one yeah i just wanted to mention honorary mention because uh it was one of my favorites and um it's uh, super cool because it also deals with death because the main character everybody in his family who falls in love the person that they fall in love with dies and yeah it's just really cool and it also has uh, a lot of drag queens and the drag world um so yeah this one is really great and yeah those are all um or there's some of my favorite lgbtq plus reads and i hope you like them if you have any suggestions please let me know i will also give another honorary mention i don't have the book with me today but my absolute favorite book of all time is The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune, who is also the author of The Extraordinaries, and that book is so whimsical and lovely, and it is an adult book, but I find it really, it reads like a young adult book, so if you're looking for something that's maybe not in the young adult um, section of the library, but something that reads quite similar, I would highly recommend it. Uh, I think we have a lot of holds on it right now, but it's just the purest, most beautiful book, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, all my recommendations.